And now we want to bring in Tang Jianchun, who's the director of the Center of Arms Control at the China Institute of International Studies in Beijing. Welcome back to the broadcast. Good morning. The Trans-Pacific Partnership and the South China Sea obviously to be discussed at length during this summit. What can we expect from the discussions? Of course, this is a very important occasion for the United States and ASEAN nations to discuss uh, this topic. But I think as, uh, you know, uh, regional issue, these you know, countries concerned should take a very proper attitude toward the these issues, uh, why we are facing a new, you know, uh, challenges in this region. This is a, a very important occasion for the United States, for ASEAN nation. But I think China will show its concern uh, to any discussion in the in the summit. We just heard from our report from Jessica Stone that another person pur purpose of the summit is to reassure the region that the U.S. engagement in Asia will continue. Has the U.S.-Asia pivot been successful so far, in your opinion? Uh, I, I don't think this is a successful strategy adopted by President Obama because, you know, a pivot or rebalance strategy, a strategy toward Asia Pacific region actually is a two track strategy. Uh, for example, in security, uh, the United States has enhanced, enhanced its uh, uh, cooperation and the relations with its traditional uh, allies, for example, with, with the United States, with, with Japan, with Australia, and with ROK, with, with the Philippines, and also increased the investment in security with the other, you know. Uh, regional uh, countries, for, for example, Vietnam. And on the other side, actually, the U.S. still, you know, insists on the economic cooperation with China. It's actually a two-track, uh, you know, strategy adopted by uh, President Obama. How can uh, the United States maintain a balanced, you know, uh, centers uh, while, uh, uh, you know, it stands on two boats. This is actually a very tough job for the United States, for the decision makers in the U.S. Uh, uh, to do. How is the U.S. actually viewed by those attending this summit and its efforts? Of course, this uh, the summit, according to the uh, report, uh, I think is uh, very important for the uh, United States and also for the ASEAN nations. In recent years, you know, uh, the situation in uh, a Northeast Asia area has been changed greatly. For example, uh, the United States, you know, increased its investment in uh, security and also in economy, while China also, you know has increased its investment in security and uh, in economy. And uh, this is actually a very complicated uh, situation. If, you know, the ASEAN nations uh, uh, tried uh, their best to, you know, go on one way, on one side, I don't think uh, any country uh, in, in such a way uh, can succeed, because this is actually uh, multipolarized of international politics and uh, globalization of in, uh, international economy and also informationization uh, of, of social life. The, so the interdependence uh, we, uh, you know, among the countries concerned are uh, very heavy at this moment. So you cannot use the Cold War mentality to contain or uh, to uh, fight against each other uh, for uh, one individual country's sake. Tang Jianxuan, thank you so much for your time.